Welcome to AP Environmental Science. Major topics covered in APES or AP Environmental Science include biodiversity, water quality, population dynamics, toxicology, ecology, atmosphere and air quality, environmental legislation, soils, biogeochemical cycles, and energy. Some required prerequisites for AP Environmental Science include having taken Biology, Chemistry, and Algebra 1. In our experiments, the most successful environmental science students have earned a grade of an A or B in Biology, Chemistry, and Algebra 1. They have passed all their science SOLs and they have a strong interest in the environment. We are used to this being one of the first AP classes that many Woodson students take, and because of that, we try to help you learn and refine your study and test-taking strategies. Some reasons to take APES. The variety. Environmental science is a widely relevant subject and can help you make useful and informed environmental decisions on a personal, local, national, and global level. Practical application. Environmental science offers down-to-earth, no pun intended, ways to be more environmentally friendly with your lifestyle. Career opportunities. Environmental science is the foundation for many careers in the field of water treatment, manufacturing, mining, oil and gas, agriculture, policy, and so many more. Almost any career path you are thinking of going into can benefit from environmental science. Number four is the potential for college credit. Like other AP classes, at the end of the semester, you will have the opportunity to take the AP Environmental Science test. With a high enough test score, usually a four or five, but sometimes a three, you will likely receive college credit for taking this course. Some former students shared with us their thoughts about environmental science. And some of those thoughts included, the information we learn is very interesting and relevant to our world today, but it is a lot of work. By no means is it an easy AP, but it is manageable. It's fun and not a course that's meant to destroy your mental health. Labs actually help you learn the material. AP Environmental Science should not be considered the easy AP. The content is vast and we move quickly. It isn't, however, particularly complicated. Most students who meet the recommended prerequisites can do well if they stay on top of their work and see Mrs. Carroll or Mrs. Sweeney for help when needed. Successful AP Environmental students have the following characteristics. They are self-motivated. They have excellent time management skills or are willing to put in the work to improve them. They are critical thinkers and they are able to do basic math problems without a calculator. The time commitment for environmental science is roughly three hours per week outside of class. However, this varies greatly depending on the student. For those for whom reading or test taking is a challenge, you should plan on taking more time with chapter review and test preparation and thus more than the three hours per week indicated. On average, two hours a week is spent reading and outlining or completing a study guide for each chapter of the textbook. Each chapter of the textbook is roughly 20 pages of an approachable but college level textbook. There's usually about an hour of other homework each week, finishing labs or completing unit packets. In addition to the three hours per week, on weeks where we have an exam, you might expect to spend two or so hours studying, but again that varies greatly depending on the strengths and weaknesses of individual students. We have two to three exams per quarter. The end of the year brings the AP Environmental Science exam. The exam is 100 multiple choice questions, however we practice these questions all throughout the year and four short answer style free response questions. These are not essay questions like you would complete in an English class um, with five paragraphs and an intro and a conclusion. They are many short answer style um, that include complete sentences, short paragraphs, um, but certainly not anything terribly lengthy. Um, please see the AP Central website for more information about the exam.